Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we're going to see how to design this full stack website where users can post about the latest tech news. Now, for building this, we're going to use cutting edge technologies like Next.js and Prisma with MongoDB for storing the data. And then we will use Cloudinary to manage the images. And we will use NextAuth to handle the authentication. So, first of all, let me just give you a demo. So, here we can see that we have this home page. And here are all the posts that are posted by the users. Now here we can see there are different authors. So this post is posted by this author right here. And we also have the date displayed. We have the thumbnail and we have the category displayed over here. Then we have the title and this content over here. And then we also have the option of adding a link. And if you scroll down here, we have another post. And if you scroll down, here we can see that we don't have the thumbnail for this post. So we have this uh, default thumbnail. And for this one, we don't have the links added. And if you scroll down here, we can see that these are all different users. So this is a different user. And uh, we can add multiple links over here. And then we can see that we have the categories displayed over here. So if I click on any of these categories, all the posts in that category will be displayed over here. And if you go back and if you go to another category, so if I select programming, here we can see that the posts of the programming category are displayed over here. Now, if you don't have any post in the category, then it says no post to display. And this is also responsive. So if I decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look on smaller screens. Now to create a new post, you have to log into your account. So let's go ahead and click on sign in. And here we have two options. So we have the option of signing in with GitHub and also with Google. So let me just go ahead and sign in with Google. And I just entered the email and password of my Gmail account and I'm logged into my account. And here we can see we have the profile picture displayed over here. And if I click on this, we have this pop up. And we can sign out. So I'll just sign back in. And here we can see when we sign in, we are redirected to this dashboard page. And here are all the posts that this user has created. So we have the option of editing and deleting the post. And uh, if you click on this uh, profile icon, we have the link for the dashboard and also the create post page. So you can click on this link or you can also click on this uh, link right here. And if you go to the home page, here are all the posts by all the users. And if you scroll down, here we have the option of editing and deleting the post because this post was written by us. And if you scroll down, here we can see that we don't have the option of editing or deleting the post because this post was not written by us. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, see how to create a new post. So let's click on create new. And here we have this form to create our post. So I just add some data over here so i just type test content and here you can add a link so i just type https youtube.com and let's click on add and here we can see that the link has been added and if you want to add a new link you can just add the new link over here so i just type google.com and let's click on add and here we have the second link added and you can also delete these links by clicking on this delete button so if i click on delete for google we can see that Google link is now deleted. And then we have the option of adding the thumbnail. So let's click on this uh, image. And here we have this uh, image upload widget. Now this widget is uh, provided by Cloudinary. And if I log into my Cloudinary account here, we can see that all the images of our posts are displayed over here. So let's go back over here and let's add the image. So you can add the image from your computer if you want. So you can just click on browse or drag and drop the images over here. And then you can add the link of any image over here. So I'll just go ahead and get an image from Unsplash. And let's click on connect to Unsplash. And let's go ahead and select an image. So I'll just select nature. And let's select one of these images. I'll just select this one right here. And let's click on next. And let's select the format and size. And let's click on upload. Right now, let's click on done. And now we can see that the image has been uploaded. And if you go to the Cloudinary account, and if I refresh this page, here we can see that our new image has been uploaded to Cloudinary. 
Now suppose you want to change the image, so you can just go ahead and click on remove image. And now if you go back and refresh this page, now we can see that the image has been removed from Cloudinary. So let's go ahead and upload a new image. So just go back and uh, I'll just select another image. Let's just select this image right here and let's click on next. And uh, let's select the size and upload. And let's click on done. And now we can see that our new image has been uploaded. And if you go back to Cloudinary and if I reload, here we have the new image displayed. So now let's go back and let's select a category. So I'll just select technology and let's click on create post. And here we can see that we are redirected to our dashboard. And if I refresh this page, we have the new post displayed over here and we have all the data displayed. So we have the thumbnail, we have the category, the title, the content and the link. And if you go back to the home page, here also we have the post displayed. So now let's go ahead and see how to edit this. So let's click on edit. Now let's go ahead and change the title to updated. And let's also remove the link. And uh, now let's go ahead and select another category. I'll just select web dev. And let's click on update post. Now if you refresh this page, here we can see that our title has been updated and the link is now removed. And we also have the category changed to web dev. So the edit is working all right. Now if you go over here to web dev, we can see that all the posts of web dev are displayed over here and we have the new post displayed over here. But now let's go ahead and delete this. So let's click on delete. And here we have this uh, confirmation and let's click on OK. And now we can see that the post has been deleted. And let's go back to Cloudinary and uh, let's reload this page. And here we can see that the image has been deleted from Cloudinary as well. And this is how this project works. So we're going to create all of this from scratch using Next.js. All right, so this was basically an introduction to our project. From the next video, we will start creating this. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.